new. How am I? I have a weird neck ache today. Most people get headaches. I get neck aches. And uh, so I'm going to try popping an ibuprofen. So if I die of COVID, you know what happened. You know I died from the ibuprofen. But first, before ibuprofen, you have to have peanut butter M&Ms. That's the rule. Maybe I survived the microwave. Maybe the neck ache is the first step in an alien bursting out of my neck that was implanted by the microwave. Peanut butter M&Ms are so good. I don't really know why they make any other food. Why is there any other food? Sokoban game will not be out for a while. We don't even know the name of the game yet. Yes, I like Dopus Magnum. Okay. What operating system pet project? It does not exist. So silly. Okay. So there's already several things I don't like about this game, but I'm going to play it anyway. Maybe I'll like it despite the handicap. I don't like games where you hit monsters and then numbers fly up from the monsters. I think of that as really lame. And uh, I don't like games with like pretend 16-bit color art because I don't think it looks good. I think it's retro fetishist in a way that doesn't really, you know, or it can look good, but usually doesn't. Like when indie games do pixel art, it's usually not good. That said, we're gonna ignore some stuff. I do like, okay, here's something I very much like. Hey, look, it's the options screen, or the, the basic options, right? All the basic things that you want is right here on the title screen. That's actually pretty cool. Like you boot straight up to a thing where you can tweak the volume and stuff.
Although I guess this one is music or no, this is music. This must be master or main volume. Okay. Anyway. So I think that's interesting. Maybe that's a little bit of an iOS thing though. So maybe it's not that cool. Do I like visible health bars? Not really, but it's less bad than numbers flying off the monster. I don't like when the stars go out. This game looks good. Well, okay. I think the characters look good. The rest of the game doesn't look bad, but you could make it look a lot better if it weren't for 10, 16 bit. Or even if it were, I don't know. Like, I just, again, I grew up in the time when this was the best we could do in video games was to make them look like this. And we knew they didn't look as good as we would like, and so we made them better. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's strictly better than the sword. Oh, okay. You don't get the old weapon, do you? So, like, when things are locked up here, 
And once you move something up there, the old one is gone. Interesting. resources. This is the kind of useless dialogue that all these games have. That's very boring. <laughs> of these does. Plus 5 HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. What is adjacent all 9 or let me see. So my HP is 242. I think it's only this that counted. But maybe I can put more around it, right? Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. So I guess I want more monsters because I'm trying to level up and get resources. So I'm kind of building a monster farm, weirdly, I guess. Okay. Each adjacent rock or mountain. So this should be 278 now. Yes. Oh, this isn't in the thing. I don't really know why I care about the different monsters. Oh, that looks like a helmet. I was like, what? Right. Well, 
Why do so many games try to immerse you with dialogue atmosphere and simultaneously break the fourth wall and make fun of the dialogue atmosphere? Are these people afraid to express themselves openly? Yes. In general, there's a thing where people in modern culture, especially video game or technical people, are afraid to be seen as too serious. So, like, dismissive sarcasm is a defense mechanism. Okay. Magic damage two. Defense four. Wait. Defense four. All right, well... Useless, um, unless my shield breaks or something. I see, so this is, uh, I guess I should have put these apart so I could put a rock between them. Why was that so many HP? It's plus 5 from this. 2, 4, 6, so it's plus 11, I guess. I don't know. The music is a little loud. Well, if music and SFX were a little loud, we just turn down the game decibels. Road Lantern. I don't know why I would want to do that, but okay. Beat up that slime. So why would I ever not equip a better armor? Why is it not pausing? There. Um, like, I have an armor one. This is an armor two. Why would I not just equip my armor? Okay, beacon, plus 40 movement speed, attack speed for all units, okay. No, I didn't want that there. Oh, God. All right. Can I undo that? Control-Z. Nope. Nope. That was fucking stupid. Okay. Worthless landmark, uh, except it gives you incredible stats. All right. I don't heal very much every day. Give me loot. Regen per second. I would rather have that than two extra damage, I think. Wait, would I? Wait, I don't have a sword anymore. I never had a sword on this level. Oh. Let me just keep... If my health gets low, I'll swap this in. Ghosts good. The 
Bones are their money. Ghosts are bad. Okay. Whoops. I need a weapon, dude. Adds vampires. Is that good? All right, that's going to be a battle with spider and vampires. Goodness! Look at all these monsters! Hold on. I need a sword. Okay, hold on. Okay. Armor, max HP 83. That's not good. Axe, 8 to 12. Gladius, 4 to 6. Okay. I would rather have 8 to 12 than 4 to 6. Yes. Uh, regen. It's starting to look like we want that. Defense. That's better than regen. Look at all these wolves! Stop evading, Wolfman! I'm starting to not feel so good about this. So these don't have any adjacency bonus, although I don't know if something else gets a bonus from Meadows. I don't feel good about my HPs right now. Northeast of the landmark. Oh, yeah. Goblin camp. For every 10 mountain or rock tiles. Okay. Goblins. They give you adjacency. Like, adjacent to mountains and stuff, or just adjacent? Hmm. This is not looking good, guys. This is real bad. Oh wait, we've got good things all of a sudden. Also, we've got time here. Okay. Let's see. Vampirism. Evasion. I think I need vampirism right now. 
probably. So this just keeps things from becoming a total cluster F. I guess. Erases monsters or the tiles. Well, let's fight a skeleton and see what happens. Can I oh Okay, I'm getting HP back from the slimes. Oh, 173. We'll take that. Ooh. The goblin wants tax money. Dialogue. Ow. Ow. Okay. Shield. Can I, like, ditch these items? I guess I could pull them into my inventory and then overwrite them, right? So, like, I could be, like, boom, and then boom. Kind of... They turn into resources when you fill... Oh, okay. Well, I shouldn't have done that then. Alright, well, I'm kind of in pain right now. I don't know if I'm going to survive those spiders up there. A super mountain. Frickin' harpy. Should I oblivion these spiders? I feel like I need to nuke those guys.
Why are these points not adding to my current? Okay, I just have to earn my way up with the current HP. 10 to 14, counter plus 11%, that is better. Okay, I can move things lower in the priority list or something. Okay. So this is kind of my junk drawer down here. I don't know. This is looking grim, guys. I'm still not net gaining HP. That's bad. Well, there I got a little bit. That was net plus three HP. I got a much better armor. Okay, does this give me the HP now is the question. Yes. Well, it gives me a little bit, like what? attack speed plus eight percent I need the regen per second badly badly let's do it I don't know how bad this is going to be down here. Let's see, I've got regen and vampirism now. Let's see what happens. Okay, we lost like 24 HP in that battle. monsters right now.
Oh, I could have left when I was there. Hmm, maybe I should have done that. I'm gonna get goblined. Look at all this shit that's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of here. Oh my god! Yeah, rip. I need the regen, though. Oh my god, that's such a better weapon. But I need HP. Or maybe I need to kill people faster more than I need HP. Okay, should I bail? Because these goblins are going to F me up. I will lose these things, but what will I get? I will keep this. That's pretty good. I don't have enough things to build. Wait, I could build field kitchen. What does this do? Sources. Okay, so I healed not all the way, I guess. So do I keep doing chapter one till I like win? Till I fight this dude? And these are the tiles that we could get, okay. All right. But basically, I start over, so there's no, it's sort of just player skill, right? Like, there's, yeah, like I start, I start with nothing again. could change the cards. Well, I didn't do that, so rip. Oh, this is one of these.
All right, so you definitely need like regen and stuff in order to uh, in order to fill up your HPs. So somebody said these give you adjacency bonus to other things. I don't know. A resource bonus. Take that, you slime. Like, I don't really have a good place for that yet. Why don't I put my armor on? that, you slimes. Those slimes were boring and lame. Okay, so yeah, here I can leave and uh, get full action. So the meadow gave me a noticeable change. Okay, so I want some noticeable changes. After placing anything on an adjacent tile. Maybe that was bad because I want to put it someplace with four adjacencies. I don't know. the region.
Look at that regen. See how we do against three spiders. <laughs> Not too bad. Dude, we're going to own this goblin. We're doing much better this time. Reserved rock. What is the big though? I don't know. I don't understand this game. Take that, you doggy. Ten small, one big. All right. I get it. Yeah, take that, goblins. You guys are lame. Hold on. Bam. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We hit goblins. We punched the goblins in the... Oh, there's a harpy. We punched goblins in the face, defense three. I'm going to keep the regen. Oh, defense 11. So I kind of want to put this away from... that you stupid vampire I don't know we're gonna farm vampires I guess <laughs> Another open. Oh, I do have another open. I 
It didn't even notice, guys. Nope. It must be toe ring. I don't know what that slot is. Bracelet? Yeah. No! Bye, doggy. Bye, harpy. Vampire. really good items this time. I don't know about four spiders, but we'll see how it goes. Take that. Take this, you stupid sp Oh yeah, take that, take that, take that. I don't care about spiders. In fact, let's get more spiders. Hmm. Or should I put him, I should put him with the vampires. Gen. I could just leave with all this good stuff, but I feel like I could make it one more time around. Come on, stop evading! Okay, I took some damage there. I admit it. But look at the baller cards that I got. Oh, I could put stuff next to my frickin' treasuries. That's what I need to do.
I got it. A chicken. I got a freaking chicken. Oh, I can't put those out there. Hmm. I put a meadow next to the treasury. What happens? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Those goblins are going to give me some problems. Okay, I'm at 526. Ow. Why are you attacking the vampire first? Okay, that was really painful. Okay, this vampire farming strat may not be optimal. I got an orb of expansion. Okay, shield. But I get 10% vampirism from this. Less counter, more vampirism, I'll take it. Unless one of these other shields is better, but it's not. Okay. Things could get rough in this patch here. Do I keep any of these? Like, four goblins. Maybe I should road lantern these guys. I'm gonna. Mm, yeah, just because I don't I don't know what's gonna happen here. All right We're being a little conservative So I don't think this is Better So wait, does that come from connecting anything to this whole body here? Like what, what does that do? Die goblins, okay, they're not that hard. Kind of want a beacon up here because the scary ghosts could happen up here, right? That you slime. Okay, I should move this thing forward. I'm just, I'm not selecting this right now because I don't need it. Like, 
I mean, the defense plus two is probably good, actually. But, like, the max HP doesn't really do anything for me. But defense plus two is significant. I just don't know what defense does. Is that minus two HP from every hit? That would be major. <laughs> Okay, that didn't give me that. Hmm. Keep the same HP percent. Oh, I see. So you do get HP. Just not up to max. Gotcha. Bones are their money. And so are the words. Let's, um... Source bonus from bigger things going out. Kind of wonder. Kind of wonder. Magic damage, damage to all, evasion. I just, I need the regen. I think. Okay, I regret farming vampires now. I've made a terrible mistake. Okay, we're clear for a while. Um. Okay, so this... I don't exactly know what structure makes this. Is it any stone or mountain, or is it... Anyway. Eight rocks, one mountain. But big big mountains or only Oh, like if I put one here, maybe it'll make another one. Oh, one mount eight eight I see. I see. So we're at 296. Not great, honestly, but... I mean, that's just so much less. I want the regen, but it's just so much less. I think I lucked out with good weapons, and now I'm unlucky out for a while.
I kind of don't know. I mean, I might be exiting after this loop, and I need to... Okay, that did not make a mountain. Neither did that. Oh, I should have put that there. Three by three of the same kind? lantern do? Maximum number of monsters. Yeah, I need to, like, chill for a bit. Honestly. If I even go... Should I, should I run away now, or should I keep going? Like, when I get to the camp. Okay. We could flee. I just, I have no idea. You would flee. So if I make my camp better, that helps me here, right? Because then every time I come around, I get more HP and stuff. Right? That 30% might go up, for example. All right. Okay. I don't have enough of these to upgrade. Dang it. So I do not have enough resources to build any of these, but I'm close. I need stable metals. I need food supply. And I need a little bit of wood, but that's easy. So we just need to go farm stable metal and food supply. And then I don't know what my metamorphosis is for. Is that for upgrades? Like, I feel like I should be farming these because they're good. All right, well, if I go back there now, I don't have any bonuses. Is this so I need wood food and whatever that is I don't know what that is I need one of those is there a place where I can see my resources and find out what that is Expansion. Okay. I forget how I got that. Alright. Expedition. Level one. Okay, we can change the deck out.
That sounds good. I guess I want all these tiles, though. I just don't want to go as heavy on the vampires as I did. Maybe cut the beacon. Ah, 20% attack speed is good. Oh, for all units, does that include monsters? Monsters too, then what good is it? Why would I want that? It just gives me less time to regen while I'm walking. Is there any reason why I would want Beacon? Right, so faster loops means fewer monsters because there will be fewer days per loop. Yeah, Road Lantern doesn't actually seem that good. Except it did save my cheese in that one place. But if I got... Let's let's try cutting that. I know I can have 12, but like if I have fewer cards I don't want, it's more cards that I do want. That's the secret of card games. The secret of card games is, like, don't take too many cards. I'm going to keep that for a bit. want an area to put the graveyard ghost things, which I guess is going to maybe be here? I don't know. Okay, that seems way better. We, in general, we have a problem keeping our HP at max, so... Got a sword. Now we're in business. If this spawns a chest at the start of the loop, then I want to get the chest early. right? Mm. 
indeed. Six to ten. Oh, that's way better. We're at max HP. Much better, much better. We need more HP. We shall start, oh, start getting more HP. Definitely, this is, the treasury is where I start getting the resources from. Treasuries are baller. Right, I don't really need the metamorphoses. One, one extra HP, not worth it. Okay, we're at 321. I don't know about that. Nine vampirism. Oh, I get HP from hitting the chest. That's pretty good. Do I feel addicted yet? No, I don't feel addicted. <laughs> I mean, I'm on level one, guys. Can I pick who I hit? Big spider battle coming up. Oh, look at these things that I have. Pole arm. And with regen, that is really good. Armor with evasion, that is really good. It's a no-brainer. Oh, wait. Okay, I should have looked at this one first. I'm not, this looked like a helmet to me. Like, it's got no shoulders. I guess I want 341. But it doesn't really matter yet. Let's see if I'm regening enough to fill this up.
Is this game really worth $60? It wasn't $60. It was like $15. What are you talking about? It was super cheap. Staying about stable during the combats. I don't know. Let's see. I see. So really, I should have put this here because I, I kind of want to put this blood grove there. All right, Vampire Mansion. Let's put him, the vampires and the spooky skeletons. I don't play that many games. If I don't think I'm going to enjoy a game, I just don't play it. It's not like I play a lot of games that I don't like. I just don't play the games that I don't think I'm going to like. Or that I actually, even if I think I'm going to like, if I start out not liking them, I will cease to play them. Hmm, this is very good. This is Grove, right. So I can do Grove, and then I can do Blood Grove. That seems very good. I should have put them here. I should have put that right... No, maybe not. Alright. <coughs> 355, defense 5. Defense plus regen. I kind of don't need regen right now. Oh. So regen 1.2. Okay, this is just way better, dude. Come here, you stupid rat wolf. I fight you.
I actually don't know what I get if I build a rock right next to this. I should try that next time that I have one. Oh my god, it's so many more HP. Does damage to all happen every attack? So five damage to all is actually really good for this level, right? I would rather have that than 6% vampirism, probably. Because, like, the damage to all probably feeds my other vampirism anyway. Alright. We're gonna do that. We might do this armor. Well, that damage to all is pretty good. Yeah, the font kind of sucks, honestly. And they, they have this, like, high-res font, but that's totally phoned in. I wish they did a non... Like, that's the terrible part of this kind of pixel art game, is the shitty fonts. Like, they need to get over it. Like, it, you could have a stylistic font that looks good, and even still looks pixelized. Just put, like, little anti-alias pixels in them between. Like, it would be so much better. All right. Come here, doggy. Yeah, dude, that the blood grove is so good. The blood grove, I will go so far as to say, is frickin' baller. Okay, I'm gonna put a rock next to the treasury when I get one. For now, I'm gonna keep farming these, though. I'm gonna put a mountain next to the treasury. Just to see, it's kind of a waste, but like... I want to know. I just want to know. It's an experiment. Okay. Well, that didn't give me any ex anything extra from the mountain. All right. good stuff over here. Regen per second, 1.2. Vampirism, 6%. I mean, that's pretty good again. Is that better than 5 damage to all? Maybe not against large groups, but yes, against small groups. that that's my first beacon that I got.
I have a level one shield still. Defense 14, counter seven, evasion nine. I mean, I'd probably rather have that than 9% vampirism. That's all my vampirism though. But, I mean, 10 extra defense in counter and evasion. Oh, defense nine. Vampirism 13. I can't tell. I feel like the level 5 is still better. I don't think I want vampires right now. See, that used the rocks over here to make the harpy land. I don't understand that. Uh-oh, there's a ghost. Okay. Oh, wait, I never, I never switched this guy out. Whoops. Um... I don't know whether this shield or... Okay, this one is strictly better than this one. So it's sort of between these two, like, do I want vampirism or do I want much more defense? I think I want much more defense. Although vampirism 9% is like a lot. Let's try this, and if we're sad, we'll swap to the other one. Oh, he's getting greedy and going for the chest first. Wait, was that a ghost? That was easy. Maybe I want ghosts. Fourteen to twenty-two. I mean, I don't know, guys. At this point, my brain just isn't, my brain is tired. <laughs> Like, I kind of don't care. It's not 3x3 three three of any rock or mountain, because I did that before and it was kind of more scrambled and it didn't work. So, I don't know exactly what the pattern is. Put just like a vampire right there.
I don't know. I need a blood grove here, guys. No. I'm sad I didn't put one there before. Give me a blood grove, baby. Ooh, I got a sword. Would I rather have 9% vampirism than 1.8 regen? Maybe, right? This is better, right? Minus 2 damage to all, but I have 11. Van oh! Yeah, I just don't know how good 9% evasion is, right? I mean, that's fine, I guess. It doesn't make me super excited. I could raise my defense. And then I could swap in this vampirism. I feel like I want this shield and this sword. This battle is going to be rough. Oh, I got to use my mountains and stuff. I want to use Grove so I can make Blood Grove. Although I don't know the rules about where Blood Grove is allowed to go. I'm just going to try this and see if we regret it. Bye, Gablins! goblin camp I'm kind of uh, kind of low on HP if I'm being honest dang it I try keep trying to stop and it goes oh yeah we're in the blood grove never mind we're good we're good we're in the blood grove happens if I do this? We get more squinkies. I'm going to want to put a blood grove next to this goblin camp, actually, if I get a grove. So I shouldn't have taken Vampire Mansion because I don't really want to use them right now because I'm not strong enough. Um, yeah, that's not good. Evasion 16, eh. I feel like this plus 5 damage to all is doing a lot of work, honestly. That said, I may not live till the end of the loop at this rate, so... I don't know what to do. Okay.
Yeah. more HPs. I have an oblivion though to play on people. Oh, I'm getting level six stuff. Please level six stuff, help me to Okay, th this has got to be way better than my level 3 ring. This is good. Oh, no, no, this is good. Although counter 17 seems good. Does counter actually reflect the attack onto the enemy? Counter uses you. Oh, so it's a free attack if somebody hits you, maybe. That seems good. But only 17% of the time? Eh, that's not that good. Okay, this shield seems way better. At least a little better. And then this ring will give me more vampires and regen. All right, HPs is my problem right now, so. This is looking bad. This is looking bad. Should I retreat? Oh, the Oblivion. Maybe on the spiders. Like, I think I can take one goblin. Let me see. I mean... That's such a better weapon than the one I just equipped. Like, this one's low damage is almost the previous one's high damage. But I lose half my vampirism. I could oblivion one of the goblin camps. Another freaking day. But I got a lot of HP out of that fight right there. So maybe maybe things are good.
I'll take that. This will keep us in the battle a little longer. We're going to try to get to the exit. See, we're treading water now. Let's get back to the camp and then we'll see. Okay, do we leave? I kind of feel like maybe we leave. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to play this game, but I feel like we maybe leave. Too bad we didn't finish the treasuries. What do you mean by finish? Like when you do those? I don't know. You get a massive bonus for all eight. Okay. If I'd known that, I would have done one of them. All right, we're going to exit though. I might be able to actually do something now. Okay. I didn't get food or things? How did I not get those things? How did I not get food? I thought I got food when I build the meadow next to the... Oh no, that gives me these. What gives me food? All right, we got to go again. I can't do anything. I literally cannot do anything. Two sheep and a brick. Well, I don't have two sheep and a brick. I feel like that was a good card set. Okay, I understand Blood Grove better. I know how to use Blood Grove. Okay, treasury. We're gonna put out here. Wow, I don't have much building area. We're just gonna get a resource from this cemetery right there. Did anything bad come out of the blood grove? Why would anything ever come out of a blood grove? No, progression does not seem to be maintained between loops.
Hold on, I got a text. Weapons. Wait. That's way better. Kind of throwing away these rocks a little bit, but we'll get more down here. Okay, spider cocoon. See, we can start building a thing around here. I had blood grove. Like, I could put grove here, right? 
and then maybe blood grove here and that gets all this area and then like the spider cocoon and stuff could be here i don't know we'll see we'll see how that works We got a card and a lot of fun things. More spiders from one cocoon if it's touching multiple roads. Okay. Because it doesn't fill out the max, do you mean? Because it says an adjacent tile once per day, which leads me to believe it's one spider per day, right? Massively better. Yeah. We're just going to make this be monster central and if it gets too hard I'll oblivion it. Yeah. I got to check my shield there. Defense 6 evasion 10. Do I make food from Grove next to Grove? How do I make food? giving me some food, I think, right? Food supply. I got two big foods and two big woods. Yeah, okay. So this is giving me the stuff that I need to upgrade my places. Which is fine. 
Oh, I need to check my items. Look at all this stuff. I should maybe put some vampires in here too. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna lose vampirism when I take this, but it's pretty good. Oh geez, I had many more max HP for a while. Alright. Um, I'm uh, replying to some, Jeff is helping me out with some stuff, so I'm replying to a text from him. Sorry.
Okay. Sorry about the pause. In the modern world, sometimes... Sometimes we have to be addicted to our phones. So we got a ton of, re we could actually leave and just upgrade, but we're going to keep fighting it out here. What have I even got? A lot of regen. Oh. But no damage to all, but a lot of regen. Let's see how our current regen is, but we could up it. And we're about to get new items anyway, so it's a little bit of a waste. Because we might just get something better that we would drop on top of it anyway. Okay. That's a lot better. Less vampirism, but a lot more damage. And I don't, I don't really know the difference between magic damage and physical damage. Oh, you know what? This was actually better. I should have used this one. Because I think that's plus four. Yeah, anyway. Or maybe, is it plus four? Is it four of the damage is magic? That is massively good. Those items were massively good. Do I get rid of my damage to all? I'm still unclear about maybe swapping in this ring or not. I mean, that's a lot more regen. That's a lot more regen. But I might not need regen right now. I don't know. Oh my gosh. That's way better. Oh my gosh. We are going to be the invincible army now. I don't know. We start using some of these. Grove is stacked. I could just add vampires all over here if I want. I feel I feel strong going into this, so we're just gonna do this and we could even oblivion these later if we want, right? We're just gonna have hella vampires for now. Ooh! Wait, did that guy come out of the blood grove? seems uh, like someone I don't want to mess with. He seems like he's got a grudge. Okay, let me just say that. Okay, meadow next to meadow is not very good here. Yeah. All right, you have another blood grove grove combo. 
do I want a meadow like here? Like, do I get a bonus from having rock on both sides? We'll see. We'll find out. Die, you stupid ass spiders. We got another treasury. Oh, this was bad because I almost didn't leave space for a treasury there. Woof. This is the last full treasury that I could do. No, I could do one up there. Oh, no, I could do any of these, actually, right? No, because you can't build in that. Mm. This is my last full treasury, actually. what happens here. Oh, I didn't check my items, by the way. Like, damage to all plus blood grove is really good, I think. Okay. Um, what do we do? We're going to have a vampire mansion on this. Do I actually... Should I fight this guy? Or am I going to get owned? I think we're going to treat this as a learning experience. Just to be safe, I'm going to nuke the vampire. And we're going to try fighting this guy. Yeah, if I nuke this, he will not be vampiric. Yeah, do items. Good point. I mean, 444 is a lot more. Vampirism 10%. That's pretty good. I would rather have this, I think. That's going to help me more in this fight. Because I'm walking... To, yeah, I've got a lot of regen per second. I mean, well, kind of a lot. All right. Um, max HP 444. Defense 2, evasion 11. Evasion 17. I'd rather have the vampirism, I think. All right, let's just see what we're getting into here. I don't feel that strong. I felt strong at the start of this loop, and now I don't know. Oh, no problem. I mean, he hits hard, but no no big deal. And that, that was great. We got good items out of it. Oh, I kind of had decided to use this armor, and then I didn't. keep what I have. I shouldn't have got rid of that vampire, honestly. That was an easy fight. I mean, bro. We got here 399 region counter plus seven percent region. that's good i mean seven damage to all was really good there though but this this seems very good as well mm. 
This is all my vampirism right now, though. I don't know. I'm not super excited by any of these. Damage to all is losing strength with HP scaling. Yeah, but 11 is a lot of damage to all, at least compared to my previous rounds. Like, that's one third of my hit strength right now. Going to all. I guess. Or half of I don't even know. More damage to oh, less damage to all. What is this guy? He's like a sad gargoyle. I mean, this is going to cut my regen in half. Oh, I need to start using these. Honestly, what am I doing down here? Okay, having two rocks here did not help. Interestingly. Bacon. We've already got bacons. I kind of want the blood groves near the goblin camps, if I'm being off honest. So I can do, I can do grove, blood grove there, cemetery, oh wait, is Yeah, I don't want to get rid of the goblins right now, though. Like, I feel okay right now. Let's just see what happens here. I don't know who that guy is. Is that a scary goat? Oh, no, that's one of these guys. I should have vampired. This is a lot more damage. It's going to cut my regen down real far. Actually, I should have swapped that out after. Well, I'm at full HP, so it doesn't matter. Put these. You know, uh, that's kind of stupid. If I get another one of these, well, I could oblivion it. All right. Oh, I need to check items before they all scroll up.
That, my shield is all the regen that I have. But if I swap this in, uh, see, that's really good though. Okay, wait, this shield. Is vampirism 15%? It's probably, there goes all my regen. Um, I don't know. We have a lot of vampirism. We'll see how that goes. Another blood grove, dude. Do blood groves stack? No, probably not. They do not. So I want to find another place with lots of monsters in blood grove that really. Okay, we're doing okay. I really would feel better if I had regen. This is like ex exactly the same shield. I mean, that's a lot more armor. Oh, he's not affected by Blood Grove. Because he came. He comes from the Blood Grove. Regen point six. Would I rather have Regen? I don't know, guy. It's just. At some point, there's just too many items and stats, and my brain turns off. This is what I don't like about this kind of game. Evasion 18% sounds good, though. Let's try it.
Look at all these things I got. Okay, 22 to 34. Not really better. Defense six, how good is that? What is what does defense six mean? This is twenty percent damage increase essentially. Counter plus thirteen regen one point eight. I'll take that unless I feel like defense might be pretty good. If defense is straight subtraction, then I could get defense five here and defense six here, plus my defense 17. That's like a lot. Let's try this experiment. We're doing a lot less damage per hit. I may regret this. But our, our defense is going up. Oh, wait. Um, instead of picking the high regen ring, I'm picking the defense ring. Like, the other thing I don't like in games with lots of stats like this is, like, if all the stats are good in some way, eh. You know, it kind of doesn't matter that much. Really. <laughs> Got rocks to wind us. Oh, I could have put them here. Dang it. I'm not smart sometimes. I'll get two more rocks or meadows before I go around. Look at all the turkeys I have. Where's my guy? He's here. Okay, look at all this junk. I, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. That's the problem. Let me see how this defense is working out, right? I'm still taking a bunch of damage. Holy shit, dude. I'm not doing any damage to these guys. What the hell happened there? Okay, these guys, I'm not, okay. That's the thing I didn't realize is the enemies have high defense, right? So I downgraded my damage and it's too low for enemy defense now. Vampires are rough with no lanterns around. No, I wanted to stack the enemies. The problem wasn't the vampire. The problem was that I wasn't doing any damage to the guys. All right, we're going to trade down the defense because I was taking a ton of damage anyway. Hey! 
See, now I'm at least... I mean, those were goblins and these are bugs, so it's not the same, but like, I at least... I'm hitting them now. Also, I have no damage to all, which is kind of hurting. Oh, level 8. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Let's do this. So we could flee now, and we would be fine with that, honestly. Probably. 20 to 30, not really better. In fact, it doesn't have the plus 11. So, like... Yeah, no, screw that. I just don't care about any of these items, honestly. Mm. Just this plus 11 is so good, though, for single units. If it's, in fact, plus 11. You know, I might be out at the end of this loop, right? So let's just go for whatever resources we can get. We'll see how we feel. Maybe the battlefield will make me want to keep going. It's going to be vampires. It's going to be great. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm coming out ahead on those guys. Oh. Uh, okay, well, we want to Oblivion those. I assume we can't Oblivion the actual Lich. All right, well, what happens if I die? I could flee right now, right? Just gonna see if we can get good items. Stop evading. Losing HPs rapidly, but I don't want to nuke the vampires because, like, I 
If I nuke the vampires, I don't have oblivions for this guy. I suspect I'll survive at least one more combat. I need damage to all, man. Oh, this is good. But it's not really... It's not really better, actually. Because it doesn't... It doesn't have the plus 11. Nuke the forest from orbit? This one that I'm going into? I mean, should I nuke this one? Should I just go to the Lich? Because I'm not really going to get better items. I don't have a lot of regen. Alright. This is still going to have a vampire, I think. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, I got a level 8 armor out of that. Do I, if I die, do I like lose everything? Evasion 18, does the Lich hit hard? Do I want evasion 18% or do I want a lot more, 250 more HP? Evasion is better. This is pretty good. Maybe I would rather have this. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap the ring at the last second. Now that I've got a little bit of regen, I'm going to swap this ring. Oh, hold on. What's this one? Defense? No. Counter evasion vampirism. Maybe the rapier. Because that has vampirism. Uh, you're being presumptuous if you think I love this game. I think it's alright. I mean, I might not play it that much more, honestly. Gonna survive this, I don't think. Oh god, no, I'm dead. Rip. Do I get any of my stuff? Okay, I should have retreated before the battle. I lost almost everything. Okay, I don't think I can upgrade now. If I had retreated, I would have been able to do stuff. Now I can't. Now I have to go through yet. Oh, wait, I can. Okay. Potions. Starting gear doesn't matter. I don't know about the tools, but starting gear, I don't care. That's it. I 
think that's it. For now. We might play more later, but... Mm. What would I change about Loop Hero? I mean, I don't know. These loot games, these Borderlands style loot games or Diablo style, I guess, if you go back far enough, where you just have all these items and they have a bunch of stats and you're constantly cycling through them. It's just stat spam. Like nothing really matters. You never really get big upgrades. Um, it it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like a lot of, it just doesn't feel good to me design wise. It's just like a lot of, it's supposed to feel good that you got an upgrade, but like, I, I don't care, you know? It's like, oh, I'm trading up this and down this and I'm trading this across to this and that. And like, maybe if you get really good at the game, then you can do a thing where the stats that you pick are complementary to the like the tiles that you're putting down and all that. But that seems like very advanced game stuff that I would understand after a long time. And uh, yeah, I don't know.
I'm texting someone again. Well, how many games do I have in my Steam library? I don't know. Probably a lot. I don't buy that many games anymore, but um, does it say how many? Uncategorized. 777. Maybe plus, well, I don't know. I don't know if that's the total.
Do I think communicating with gods in a game is a cool concept? Um, not really. I mean, it could be as cool as any other concept or as uncool as any other concept, depending on what you do with it, I would say. Okay, now that I've bored people by sitting here for a long time and not doing anything that you can see, what about communicating with fish? That could be pretty cool. I mean, that could be super cool, right? Look at fish fillets too. That has lots of communicating with fish. Do I want to program? What do I want to do? I'm kind of tired today. Good things have happened today. Bad thing, not bad things, but uh, I don't know. I've had a mixed day, let's put it that way. Very good things have happened today. Um, I do think there are some gameplay bugs though. So I think, I think we're gonna switch back to a programming stream. I'm gonna make some non-caffeinated tea and then we can look at some of these gameplay bugs. And then maybe over the weekend I can work on the compiler. Cause I haven't worked on the compiler since shipping the last beta um, cause with all these projects floating around, I got to work on the other projects sometimes. So, um, and of course I have to play video games sometimes, right? So, um, but I think weekend is compiler time. And so prior to weekend tonight, let's do a little bit of game stuff. Uh, so like the priest protection rules are weird. Let's uh, let's take a look at these. What is my non-caffeinated tea of choice? Bengal spice. Okay, so what I want to test is um, when we have two priests, we sort of never really had many levels with two priests where this matters, but we decided that, so the deal is the priest will protect anyone adjacent to her, right? From danger, such as attacking monsters and so forth. Now, the way it works right now, like if I run this level, only one of the priests will protect because I think the other one will say, oh, he's already protected. Yeah. So see, the priest on the right has a little glowy thing, which means she's protecting. But the priest on the south does not have that, right? And, uh, oh, let me get rid of this other mirror here. So I, I think the rule should be that they both, they both protect. Right now it's just whatever priest I think happens to be first in the entity list.
Is the issue just visual? Um, no. So the reason it matters is as follows. When you have your protection field going, you actually uh, also can hover. So like, if this monster is up here, and all these people are, whoops, all these people are also in the air, right now, uh, the warrior will hover and the one priest will hover, but the other one falls, see? Um, so that's not good. So there, we would like them both to hover, right? Because otherwise it's very arbitrary which one does and which one doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good, you know? I mean, there is a sort of thing where it's like, oh, whichever one contacts him first. But in cases like this where it's simultaneous, it's very arbitrary. And arbitrariness, I, I don't think is a good thing in a rule set like this. Do I think we should publish the map editor after release? I don't know. Um, th that would probably be like for a sequel game or something. For this game, it's going to be enough just to do the game. Oh, science and technology. Yeah, we should get out of loop hero level. Thank you. Okay, let me warm up some Bengal spice. Any uh, questions about the game or about programming? I don't want random weird computer questions, but programming questions, design questions, game questions, they're all welcome. The water is warming up. Tea questions? Nobody has questions. Can't you just stack the protections on top of the warrior so he has two protections? Uh, but it, two protections doesn't really mean anything. I mean, there's some version of the game where two protections means you get protected from two hits, but that's not this game. Like, we have a pre-existing rule set that we're working with. What's the best way to deal with strings when you have to delete and add lots of words slash characters? Most people just make a bunch of copies. What do you mean by delete and add lots of words slash characters? Like, give me an example of, of what you're doing at a higher level. Do I think game engines should have a performance language and a scripting language. No, they should have a performance language and a reasonable way for content people to make things happen. 
which is not a scripting language, but maybe something like Unreal style blueprints or whatever. Example, A equals C, D, E, B equals D, C, F. Delete E from A and F from B so that the remaining strings are C, D, and D, C, which are anagrams. Well, that's, <clears throat> so that's annoying in C. Well, no, it's actually fine in C. I mean, if you're allowed to mutate the source string, you just put a zero in the last character of those in C, right? So that's easy. Um, if you're not allowed to do that, then you would be making copies in C, right? Um, in a language like the one that I'm working on, you don't need to copy the string data in those cases because you can point to the old data and just have a shorter length because the length is not stored inside the string. And so then you could make substrings without copying in, and, and other, several other programming languages use that as their, that kind of thing is their string representation as well. Um, zero termination is really not good. Like I, I know why they chose it originally, but it's really not good, uh, for, for making high level programs. Um, and, and then if you come down to having to make copies, the question is, can you make copies efficiently? Cause a lot of people worry about like string copies, right? Like, oh, copying strings is bad and slow. I mean, it's, it's better not to copy than to copy, but if you're going to allocate a string and copy the data and then free it later on, the slowest parts are the allocate and free. The copying of the data is probably not actually very slow unless, um, unless it's a really long string, right? Um, so if you have a very fast allocator and a bulk deallocator, then it's actually not that bad to make a copy. Okay.
Okay. Let me just look at the uh, allocation thing or the, <laughs> the protection thing. It might just be as simple as I'm checking to see if the person is protected already or whatever. Can protect, uh, can immunify. It's a weird word. Um, that's a different function. So immune by, oh, I set immune by. Oh boy. Okay, this is kind of a problem. So the way it works, the reason it doesn't work is the priest sets the priest ID on the protected person, you know, regardless of whether that person is being attacked or not. And then we scan for attacks. And if we find an attack, then we invoke protection. And that, um, handles multiple, that like makes the priest and all the priest clones, um, protecting. So I could just hard code this for two priests is what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's not a, the best solution. It's not the most general solution. But we could make it more general where there's just like an array of all the people you're protected by or whatever. But like that starts to be, it just starts, you know, you allocate memory and whatever for things. Um, you have an array on the entity, and now that goes into undo as an array, and that's annoying. So I think I'm actually... just going to put scalar fields to handle a second priest, which is annoying and stupid. T-timer. Yeah, T-timer doesn't really apply to Bengal Spice because it's not caffeinated. It actually gets a little better as it gets really strong. So we're just going to let the tea go. We'll sip a little bit, though. Could I just have a flag that a character is protected and what's relevant search through all characters to find priests which are protecting? Yeah, I, okay, yes. I could change it so that I just look for priests in adjacent squares, honestly.
Yeah, that's probably better. Like it's, it seems a little more compute intensive to do that search in the opposite direction, but it's like only six squares. It's only for when you're protected. Um, And instead of searching squares, you can actually just iterate over all the priests in the level of which there's never going to be more than a, well, actually in one level, there's like eight, <laughs> but like eight is not that many. Um, I think we do it that way. Yeah. Good point. We're going to do it that way. I guess we'll also get to test our undo data that we're going to revise the entity version and or maybe it's guy version, but that should throw out basically every save history. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go to immune by and protected by. How is it in entities? Oh, these are not serialized. Really, they're not serialized at all. Okay, so I sort of put this here because charmed needs to be on entity because monsters get charmed, but this stuff honestly doesn't. Um, so we're just going to break all this stuff. Um, let's call this pre-protected because immune is weird. So this actually won't affect save games. And then was protected. So this is going to just break a bunch of things. So first, uh, I don't know, we'll just rewrite the algorithms as they go. Um, so this one, for example, invoke protection, if it's not So this only happens for guy. If it's not pre-protected, we return false. Okay. Um, we don't say protected by, we say protected. And then we do this. We say we 
Is it called Can? It's called Can Immunify, but whatever. So if we get here, it's a priest. Um, and so we say uh, if wrapped distance, because we can have wrapping levels. Um, oh, if other dot dead continue, right? Um, maybe you shouldn't be able to protect if you're inside a wall. If the distance of uh, other dot position to e dot position, right? I think we pass proximity grid. If that distance is less than one point, we'll just give it a little slop room there. Um, uh, okay, so we do that. Okay, we actually, I, I guess that's it. Okay, so this is gonna call invoke protection. Okay. We only care about guys, nobody else can be protected. Back when I wrote this code originally, um, I didn't know like what the rule changes might be, right? Okay, so here we know that the entity type is guy. If it's a monster, wait, what? Baby dragons and friendly dragons don't kill people. I think this was just um, being put in by someone who was adding sound events to just sort of like cover, cover things. Okay. Okay. I don't know why we did this, AKA why I did that. All right. So there's gonna be lots of other problems. So that's an easy one. Oh, these are entities. Hold on. 
Let's rearrange this a little bit. We're doing that and uh, this and that and that and that. Okay. Getting hungry. Okay. Yeah, this stuff is all going to be a little bit more annoying because, I mean, we could make a function, but we'll just do this for now. So these are like, this is like when you start being protected and stop being protected, right? We make these sounds. Uh, that's not even the function where this error message was, but I wanted to check for that. Okay. Okay. Wait, why why do we even have monster versus This is not even a thing. Oh. Actually, yeah. Cuz it's Yeah, okay. I guess this was written to be a more general kill info, like if you land on someone else's head or kill them with a block, but I don't think it's being used as that. Wait, what is this? Like, why do we have? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I could just search for protected by. Okay, all of these we have to fix. So there really shouldn't be any guys that come, oh, get immune entities. Oh yeah. Let's put this, let's just make them guy. Okay. So 
so pre-protected is false, protected is false. So this is for priests. Wait, immune, but why are we setting that? Hmm. Right. Um, I don't think we need to set this. So this find laterals. Mm. Yeah, that's sort of what we wanted for the priest thing anyway. Oh, if we were to do it that way, which we didn't even do it that way. So what are we looking at? We're in a totally different file. Hold on. We've still got a couple of these. For every guy, if it dot... Um, Pre-protected, I guess. I don't know if that's going to count priests correctly. I guess we should do this. Check if this clone has the same Canon Unify status. Oh, right. Does this return guy? No. Let's let's name this clone guy because we're shadowing one guy with another guy. That is not the right maneuver. My brain just shut off for a second. I'm daydreaming today. Okay, so what are we even doing? Oh, this is a weird hack thing for highly vertical levels where we decide if we're going to let somebody walk onto the water or over, over water. All right. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this is a function now. All right. Hey, we compile finally. The drudge work is going. Does it remotely function? Uh, well, my guy is dead across the room. He is protected but dead. So uh, this is very strange. Let's make a less let's make a less confusing circumstance. Okay. So we're going to have this guy here. This is very normal. Very normal. Let's make some more land. Okay. So push. Okay. Oh, well, that explains some things. Uh, that should not happen. Okay. That should not happen. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So that would be the function that we started editing because she is protected because she has the sun thing. So invoke protection didn't seem okay, hold on. Oh. So this trigger sounds thing, did I factor this incorrectly? Because like, look, if you're protected, we actually want to remove you from the kill list. That's the way that this function works. Um, so I think I think we do multiple passes one time where we generate sounds, something like that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, there we go. Hey, look. Hey, everybody. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, look at that. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. Yeah, I don't think people use the 60% emote nearly enough. It is actually the best emote on this channel. Okay. Why? I thought we had priests with like more than color swap. I thought they had different staffs and stuff. Yeah. So like why, why are we using this one? Oh, well. That is not. <laughs> what the fuck? 
That's why we're not using that. All right, well, we will sub it at some point. So I think we play through a little bit of Heroes 2 to make sure that works, which it will. And then we do some Benny test. Ooh, spookies. Spooky. Spooky. Uh, he got smacked by the goblins. You know what? Actually, tomorrow, instead of compiler stuff in the morning, there's some goblin stuff for the art team that I need to do. The goblins are all like customizable. You can tell that they have different things. Actually, if we go back here for a sec, you can tell that they have like different hairs and different hand ornaments and stuff. Um, like this guy's got a bracelet and this, oh, this guy's got a bracelet and hand wraps. Maybe they all have hand wraps. Anyway, you can customize these. There's a lot more options than these on the guys, and you can customize them in the editor. But it's actually really hard for the art team to customize because um, they're like working blind. So I need to make it easier for them to deal with things. Do they all have different names? Of course. All right. Um, we're going to make a release build and we're going to Benny test. And my assumption is we broke some things and it might be hard to tell because we're still at over 50 fails. Let's kick it off. Kicking it off. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I need to turn up my test speed, everybody. I was turning it down so I could see some things. There we go. Is release build slow because of LLVM? Yeah. We don't know how fast it would be with our own compiler because we don't have release build optimizations. But we do. We are not currently doing anything in the main compiler that takes more time in a release build. That's all LLVM. Now I do expect that eventually we will do things that take more time in a release build because optimization involves analysis, analysis takes time. I don't think we will be anywhere near as slow as LLVM though for, for equal levels of optimization. They're just hella slow, they're absurd.
I'm going to want to definitely do some more compiler stuff. I actually, I do, I want to work on debug info quality. We have a couple weird things happening with our debug info. So that'll be interesting. I'm really interested in just, even just like the step-by-step, -step, the quality of the debug info. Like if you're in a release build, can you still supply good debug info? I think so, mostly. Better than what people often do, I think. Power got shut off in the block around our office today, apparently. So that was great. Shut down all our servers for a bit. But someone on the team, start them up again. They knock you down, you get back up. How are we doing? Oh, 62. That's not good. But, okay, there is a chance that these fails are extra from dealing with bugs before or just differences in the rule set. We will see. Uh, it's probably something I did wrong, though, like clone levels right here. Okay, so let's... Let's get these fails. We should have about 56 fails, right? So we have about six fails. That's not that many. Uh, let's do this. Clone flying. Clone flying two was not a fail before. It's kind of a hard level. Clone protection. Let's look at that one. What is happening? Oh, this freaking level, okay. In this level, you uh, clone the priest and do things with her. I don't, uh, I don't remember the exact solution, right? But you like, you do something. I don't remember if I need two priests or three priests. Like I could sort of use this guy to space them out a little bit. So, whoops, I think I kind of need priests like this. I don't know. Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to push this monster. So I need priest. I think, hmm, let's see, maybe like this, oh, whoops, oh, 
Oh, the clones are not protecting right now. Okay, yes, okay. This is the problem. So the extra rule that I forgot about when I did the rewrite is anyone who is protecting or protected all their clones, well, anyone who is protected, you're protected also if you're protecting someone else, all their clones should be protected. And that works, I think, for the target, but it doesn't work for the priests. So um, that's not good. They're both supposed to be protected right now. Um, basically, due to COVID kind of issues, we don't use the office that much right now. Um, people go in there occasionally if they just want to work from that environment or whatever, like not be at home. <laughs> um, but we don't have a complement of people working there, you know. Is office space in San Francisco getting cheaper? It is definitely cheaper. I don't know how much cheaper. Um, I've been told that after the end of this month, there should be another kind of step down in price. I don't know how accurate that is. Um, but sort of supposedly a lot of office rents end in like Q1 for some reason. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I guess that should already have an impact on price. Can we look this up? Let's see. Office rent graph. Well, there's old data, 2020, January, 2021. I mean, this is all 2020. Like I want to know for today, but, oh, this is not even, hmm. Rent changed since March 2020, minus 25%. Uh, it was absurdly expensive to get an apartment. Oh, this is, uh, this is apartments, right? Um, what about office rent? Yeah, so, so this was just in 2020. Or wait, they're saying 12 months. Is this a new, does this include, no. Yeah, so they're saying 2020. I believe it has continued to go down. Um, but 25% off rent is honestly not that much. Because <laughs> it was so expensive here. It was crazy. Yeah, no, no kidding. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. Okay. This is all apartment. Ugh, I don't know. If someone can find a good office real estate. Yeah, I might go to Starbase, Texas. I might go to, I don't know, Singapore. Who knows? Yeah, I, I didn't like Seattle. Okay, so we have to go back over here. And um, in this part where we said um, invoke protection, um, 
not that invoke protection, the other one. Okay, uh, we need to We have to do this, but it's a little different. Uh, priest uh, primary. Yeah, let's just do this. So we add this guy to priest protected. Okay, and then we say for everybody in priest protected, get clones of Actually, none of the cloning stuff is working. Um, so here, if this guy is protected, uh, array add primary protected, right? So we do that, and then we actually don't even need to do this. We don't even need to do this. Okay, so for every primary person protected, we get all their clones. For all those clones, we do that they're protected and not supported. Okay, that's actually kind of clean. Uh, uh, let's do this. So get clones doesn't return guys, sadly. All right, very good. Yeah, I think it was year 2018 when I was in Seattle, something like that. I don't know. Okay, let's make sure the basics work. Yep. Yep, okay, so. Um, clone protection. And we're just gonna run the test. Oh, look, they're protected. It loaded my save game. Let's try and solve the puzzle now. So, I think they actually have to be like, kind of next to each other. And then this guy can do this. The problem is that priest over there is going to drown. So it actually has, she has to be behind him to start. is like weird I seems hard I think I think I'm gonna need a third priest to do this So, here's the deal. We're going to use these two. Whoa, okay. 
whoops. Yeah, easier said than done. Hold on. So we're gonna go here. This guy could push her back a little bit. There. So now we are firmly ensconced in protection land. Guy can go here. I don't know, man. How do I do this? These guys are not animating correctly, I don't think. Or maybe that's their danger close. Okay, I actually didn't want that. I wanted that. Okay, this is good. Now the problem being... Okay, so now he's protected by the guy south of him. Now the priests are going to walk to the right so that I can get a priest behind him. Why? Because we can't have one over water. So, um, they're all going to walk right. He will no longer be protected by the one south of him, but he'll be protected by the one west of him. Like that. Okay? And then, we can do the following. Kablam! Now, though, you may note that we have a lot of priests. This is sad. We have to get rid of the priests. And, uh, how do I do this? Oh, I could do it like this. I don't want to, I don't want to make more clones, right? What I could do... Hmm. How do I do it? I need to have... This level... Hmm. How do I recombine them? Undo the same way I did. Yeah, I just... Okay, wait. I would teleport a priest here and make two clones, right? So I want to merge two clones. But for that, I need one on the island. But I can't get one on the island without making another freaking clone. That's... Oh, wait. I actually... Um, I could if I move the mirror... Because then I can do the following. I can teleport one and mirror one back. Okay, and then... Um, it's probably got to be easier than this. Okay, there we go. We're down to two. 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 So we could just use this guy. We could teleport the guy and teleport the priest. Okay, good, good. And then, whoops. There we go. There we go. Should have obeyed the no cloning theorem. The no cloning theorem would make this a more boring video game than it is. Okay. So, I believe there was a thing in, in Bug Garden about this.
Oh my god, look at all these. Holy crap. Yeah, these are problems. I didn't know we had so many problems. Damn it, dude. Okay, maybe I'm going to take another couple days before doing compiler stuff. Um, I don't see a multi-priest, though. Oh, yeah, down on the bottom. I don't really see what to do with this, though. Like... What is it? Does it have a note on it? These are just all the things that aren't totally working. If you move down with the left priest, the other priest sinks, but oh, because she takes over the. Mm. Okay, that's fixed. Fixed! We're going to put the green marker of goodness on. all these characters we're going to make these notes much easier to see they're very purple all right. Maybe I need to do more bug guard. First, we need to do Benny test, and then maybe check this in. Uh, what's this one say? I might have fixed some other ones because I did do some things. Guy on top should move double. Oh fuck! Because he's a clone. Ooh. Box can be wanded into same squares or over. That seems bad. If you swap back and forth with the box, with the box, wizard sometimes falls off the lily. Interesting. Yeah, that shouldn't be possible. Like, the the thing falling shouldn't be possible either. Like we just did. There we go. That shouldn't happen. Oh, I've got so many problems, guys. What's this one? Look at all the problems in my life. Actually, this is a small subset of the problems in my life. Attempting to push the dragon off the lily it results in something definitely weird. Let's see. What? What's that got to do with anything? Squeeze me? What does that got to do with anything? Why is that different from pushing a stone? Maybe I broke pushing stones off moving lilies, but that would break the raft levels. But maybe they're broken right now. Okay, that's actually correct. Oh, that is not correct. Yeah, that's that. Okay, so she doesn't have her support reevaluated there, which is um, that's something we could look into before I go to bed. Okay, 
there's some things to do here. Man, I felt so good about on the stream the other day, all the gameplay bugs that we fixed, but some of these are probably easy. Yeah, if only I had used Rust, the borrow checker would fix all these problems. See what happens on this one. That was weird. He should have been able to turn that into a tree. Skipping stone turned into tree should not fall. That is correct. Well, some of these are not hard. I'm tired, but um, we will uh, we will run Benny. Let me just go back to clone protection for a second. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure because I solved it, but I wanted to make sure the recorded solution was good as well. And we're just going to run the whole game in release, and we're going to check that in. Uh, and then maybe I'll go to bed. Maybe I'll look at the other thing. MS is working on a version of C with a borrow checker. Well, yeah. That's not really going to be good. We're just waiting for this to compile. How's it going, people? I don't know where today went. It disappears really fast. Disappeared really fast.
You don't know where the year went? Yeah, well, this game is dipe. I agree. This game is dipe. And it's only going to continue to get diaper as time goes on. Yeah, life is pretty good right now in most dimensions. There's a couple things I could complain about, but it's mostly good. Mostly good. How do you come up with so many levels? It's just easy. Like it's a very, um, it's a very rich space of possibilities. And that means like you just trip over puzzle ideas. It's so easy. Okay. 59. Oh, that's still more than I wanted. It means like maybe I broke a few. Or they could be broken for just replay reasons. Because we, you know, things are one move off because the priest used to levitate and doesn't now or whatever. Um, in which case, because there is one other priest bug at least, uh, maybe I wouldn't even re-record those yet. Okay, so we're at 59. We only really fixed three. All right, so 59. I'm going to do this again. Knock stones doesn't no wait journey knocks eh, eh. Jenga sorted is on the same line journey zero that's one of mine I think what why would this was that just a spurious fail. This doesn't have anything to do with clones. Literally nothing to do with clones. Laser stop surprise. What? Also nothing to do with clones. Here he's just one step away. I wonder if this is due to something that I changed the other day. Wow. 
like. Ta-da! All you had to do was go. Okay. Let me see if I could solve this level. So, I don't know. We're going to have that go down. We're going to have that go down. I don't know, man. Like, does it matter? Does it truly matter? Maybe. Maybe I need to keep a thing on top of another thing. Oh, does he, hold on, does he go in on the second floor? Is that the surprise? Because it might, it might have to do with falling. No. Okay, that time it played back. So this is a speed dependent playback bug. And that's probably why it failed. So the thing is, I usually play my Benny tests at 103 speed, but I played them at 100 because I didn't yet. So now that's bad. But it's good because here, here we have a level that definitely, let's change it to 100 and watch it fail. Okay, but 103, okay, well weird. But that is a problem in the playback system and I'm just gonna write that down for now. Um, so that's laser stop surprise. Tomorrow is just gonna be killing gameplay bugs all day. It's going to be day of killing gameplay bugs. So we have to figure out why, what is the difference at those two speeds? Like, it looks like maybe, maybe just like the last movement doesn't, I don't exactly know. What speeds work? Well, I, I don't know that it exactly matters. I bet, I bet low speeds work and high speeds don't, right? No, well, even 10 didn't work. It might also be random. It might be like, depending on, depending on like what the remainder is on the time step. Oh, it's raining outside. San Francisco rain. So seven, nine, Whoops, no, I didn't want this level, sorry. Speed nine. Okay, speed nine succeeds. 10. Oh, well 10, maybe 10 is kind of random. Okay. All right. So, you know, like there's some barrier where it starts failing. Okay. We have much to fix. Oh my God. There's so many things. However, the thing about things is you fix them and then they're not broken anymore. 
if you actually fix them. If you're not just pushing the pieces around. All right. Um, priests all protect target when they can. There isn't a preferred priest. All right. Yeah, I'm feeling tired today. So I'm going to I'm going to call it there. We played some loop hero. We did a little bit of gameplay programming, not as much as I would have envisioned, but we fixed one bug and we pinned down a use case or a, a repro case for another one. And then we noticed that bug garden is full of bugs. So I'm going to get out of here. We're not even going to raid anyone tonight. I'm just going to go to bed. Thank you for being there. I hope you're all doing good things in life. Did we have some kind of testing system on the witness? Um, we couldn't test like this because it's just a very different kind of game. We did toward the end have tests of stuff like the streaming system where we would teleport the player around the island really fast and see if it would get overloaded, right? Um, we, uh, we had some stuff where, you know, we would walk the player around and make sure that they couldn't get stuck or that, you know, they wouldn't crash the game. Um, but even, you know, in a big space like the one in the witness, just randomly walking isn't necessarily going to create that many interesting situations. So I don't know, you kind of want a neural network to do that in 2021 or something. All right. Good night, everybody. See you later.